What's going on everybody, College Lefty Gaming, and in this video I have for you guys the Immortal Mike Trout debut. I hope you guys enjoy. So this is me going through the lineup, trying to decide what the exact batting order is going to be. I figured I would go with Pablo Sanchez behind Albert Pujols because I did switch Pablo Sanchez swing to Albert Pujols swing. But in this video we are going up against Jorge Morfin, who is a subscriber to the channel. He's a... He's a subscriber to all the people in the firm. I see him all over the place in streams. He's a great dude. And we're going up against him. He has the finest Jacob deGrom on the mound as well as an all-immortal team. He also has that Mike Trout immortal. I believe it was his first game with him as well. But uh, we ha he has a diamond-created player that's a catcher. And I recently saw him play Turbo on stream in Turbo's viewer game stream, so that was cool to check it out. He also has a great record, 122 and 35. That is an outstanding record. If you're winning four games to every loss, then you're definitely a great player. He's a 12 0 Battle Royale player. And Ken Griffey Jr. starting this game off with the home run there. Should be out of here. Goes five rows deep. It's a great way to start the game off, especially against a great player. I've seen Jorge play a few times. And he definitely can put together some some uh, high-scoring games. So here's Mike Trout's debut here. And he rips one down the line. He's going to be able to get to second with that 94 speed. And I'm looking to score him very early in this game. Got nobody out. Got Babe Ruth up at the plate here with a 1-0 count. And I just missed that pitch, man. I was just a little bit late. I, ju I was just late. If I... If I would have timed it up, it probably would have been and pulled it. It would have been sent for a line drive to the right field at least for probably probably an out or maybe a ground ball to the second baseman. But at least I would have been able to hit a little bit harder. There's same type of thing. There's uh, Pablo Sanchez with pool swing. But at, having those two guys back to back, I feel like it's gonna be very good. I didn't really want to send him there to second, but it is what it is. We're running ourselves out of the inning, but the run does score, and we have a mortal Nolan Ryan on the mound. I was surprised with how many good feedbacks I was able to get with Nolan Ryan. There's a 12-6 curveball. Maybe because I was I was able to to pitch kind of kind of all right to start the game here. As I got two outs and Pujols up, he gets a base hit. So he does get the first base hit of the game for him. And Pujols is just an amazing card, man. That's why I switched to my creative player's stance to him. I like Chipper Jones. I've also tried out Griffey. I've also tried out Babe Ruth. I mean, those guys I hit the best with. Those are the four guys I hit the best with. But here, Mike Trout, he's the best fielder. I don't know what happened. I think I was as close as to the ball as you can. There I go in slow motion. He takes it right off the shoulder. It looked like he took it off the face when I was playing. But if you look in slow motion, you can see that he takes it right off the shoulder blade. I'm not sure what happened there. Chipper Jones has worse fielding, but he's out there looking like Cal Ripken or Omar Vizquel. He's out there making crazy plays, looking like Ozzie Smith in his prime. Chipper Jones has like 70-something fielding, but Mike Trout takes one off the off the chest. I don't know. But it is what it is. He, the, I, have ch I checked after, and it was not an error, so... Mike Trout still has the all right fielding percentage, but he he did uh, not look too hot on the first attempt of this game. The first chance he has, he's taking it off the chest. Anyway, he's up he's up again here with a guy on third base after Ken Griffey Jr. hits a triple, a ground ball triple jet that gets through the shift. That's going to be able to score Mike Trout. I don't really hit the best with live series Mike Trout. I never have, but uh, I... I'm, I'm looking forward to using him. He's going to be in the two spot all year. I, I have to play that Mike Trout. He's, a, he's amazing. I have to learn how to hit with him. And Vlad was only hitting 200 for me. So Vlad's moved to the bench. As well as I do like to go to my bench early and often. I like to use my entire team. I have all Immortals on the bench. The only Immortal I'm not using in this one is George Brett. But uh, on the bench I do have Stan Musial, Mike Piazza well, was starting in this one. So I have Yogi Berra on the bench. I have, those are my lefties. Then I have Jackie Robinson, who comes in in pinch running situations or contact hitting situations or anytime I need a late defensive uh, arrangement. So that comes into play later here. Then I also have Sandberg on the bench just because I'd rather use my created player. But I also use Sandberg in this game. He comes into a he comes into play. He's very useful late in the game. If I want to move around my guys, like take out Babe Ruth, Put in Albert Pujols from because I have Albert Pujols playing third. I can move him to first. I can move uh, Babe Ruth to the outfield for Ted Williams and take Ted Williams out. It just depends on what I'm feeling at the time, or you know, it, it gives my team versatility to be able to have those Immortals on the bench that play everywhere. And then of course Vlad can play the entire outfield 
if I don't use him, I can bring him into the left field and have an amazing outfield in Vlad, Trout, and Griffey. But I'm, I'm using Trout in center field. There he, he doesn't take it off the face. He makes the play. He's a great he's a great card to have. He covers a lot of range. Uh, luckily, I was able to get a lot of, of good feedback. I mean, he had good timing. He just the, Jorge had good timing. Like, here he, he hits it out. But he had good timing throughout the whole game. Just was hitting it right to my guys. He definitely could have scored a lot more runs. But there he is getting his first run of the game, which is pretty great. I mean, I knew I was going to give up some runs at, at some point. And there I try to make a play with Ted Williams. Maybe if I have Vlad out there, he does get to that ball. I don't know. But I, I, I could have probably went to him late in this game. But I'm still trying to use Ted Williams' bat. I hit much better with him than I do Vlad. I'm hitting like 350 with Ted Williams as opposed to 200 with Vlad. But anyway, he's got Mike Trout up here. Pujols is, is playing like a fool. He misses the ball completely. And Mike Trout's on first base. He, you know he's going to try to steal. I bring in Immortal uh, Dennis Eckersley. This is his debut as well. He might have already, have already pitched an inning. But I think I brought him in at that time. Or right around this time when he started to score more than one more than one run. I wanted to go right to Immortal Eckersley. But there I'm able to catch Mike Trout stealing, which is crazy. Then throw out Ryan Sandberg with uh, Chipper Jones there. That was a pretty intense play. 80 speed, he can sometimes beat that out. You never know what animations you're going to get with Chipper Jones. But that brings up Mike Trout once again in his third at bat. And, uh, well, well, I guess fourth at bat, but I was able to get a sack fly. So he was one for three in this one. One for three with two RBIs. No, one RBI and two runs scored. That's what it was. And that one hit was a double in the first inning. So that's not bad at all. Great debut. He did. He did misplay a ball in the outfield, but that's all right. He, I'm going to do that. That was probably my user error anyway. I probably did something with the joystick. But I thought I thought I was underneath the ball, honestly. But it is what it is. That happens with this game sometimes. You're not going to be able to make every play. But I'm just glad it didn't cost me the game. That's all. If, it was, if he was able to hit a home run after that or something, I was able to get out of the, out of the inning. I just thought it was funny as well. Mike Trout debut, takes the ball off his chest, and he's supposed to have 92 fielding, be the best center fielder in the game. Anyway, I move Griffey to right field. He's doing just fine out there. And he's going to be able to throw somebody out. As well as Vladimir Guerrero would play left field on my team, possibly. Or I might try to move Mike Trout to left field and then Vlad to center. But I don't know about that. Anyway, Pujols, hit, he makes up for that crazy play he played at third base a few innings ago and gave up another run. He gets the run back. That's why I like Pujols. There, another Pujols. Pablo Sanchez with Pujols swing. The new and improved. Gets a base set up the middle. And I'm just trying to get everyone pos possible. So I go with Pablo Sanchez. I take him out. I bring in Jackie Robinson. And I'm going trying to steal this base. He's definitely going to throw me out because Jorge knows I'm stealing. He knows I'm going to be aggressive. But anyway, that I'm trying to take a chance. I'm using him on defense as well. In this situation, I'm going to what I was saying before with I'm going to take out Babe Ruth, which I probably shouldn't have taken out Babe Ruth. I probably should have brought him into left field taking out Ted Williams. But I wasn't thinking. I brought in Sandberg. I moved Pujols to first base. I brought in Sandberg to play third. So right now I have Ted in left, which should be Babe. Trout in center field. Griffey in right. Sandberg third. Chipper at shortstop, which is the worst fielder would be. Uh, Jackie Robinson, second base. And Pujols at, Pujols at first base. And then I guess if you got a guy on base who I thought he was going to steal, I might bring in Yogi Berra in the, in the ninth inning in that situation. That's probably a good probably a good way to do it defensively. But that's, that's in case if you think... The opponent is going to be able to tie the game without hitting home runs or if the wind's blowing crazy, like it's blowing in and you're trying to get the best defensive guys out there. I'm just using it as an example. In this situation, I used it because I know Jorge is an amazing player and I expect him to hit the ball out almost every pitch anyway. But Ken Griffey Jr. is the player of the game. He's 3 for 4. I was able to get one hit with Mike Trout. Not the best debut, but not the worst either. 1 for 3. And he did have a double, so I was able to see his speed a little bit. I would have liked to see like maybe a play where it was he runs it down in the gap that I didn't think Griffey would have been able to get to, but I didn't get to see that in this one. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We do get about 800 or uh, 800. We get about 18 points. Move up to 834 rating. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next ones as I'm gonna be making a push towards World Series in this Immortal Kershaw. Until next time, guys. Take care.